Okay, today in the Honda Rescue Garage, I'm going to show you how to repair the climate controls that often break in the 92 to 95 Honda Civics. Uh, I've actually already done this one, but I'm going to take you through what I had to do step by step. And what happens is these little knobs here get caught and it's like gets bound up inside this control unit and they, the knobs just break off really easy. And you end up with this, you got one knob missing. So it wasn't as easy as I expected it to be um, because the, the control that I bought actually was messed up too. I got one from a junkyard and it was, it was kind of messed up so I actually had to make one good one out of parts from both so I basically had to disassemble this whole thing to make one good heater control. But if you can get one that's not messed up it's pretty easy and straightforward to swap it out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the radio out. And that's if most of these cars are going to have aftermarket radios, but if it's got a factory radio, you have to pull this bottom console piece out. There's two screws here and two screws on either side. And then there's two screws up underneath that hold the back of the radio in, and then it just slides right out. But most of these are going to have aftermarket radios, so I'm just going to show you with, with um, assuming it has an aftermarket radio. Okay, so most of these radios are going to have little releases on either side in between the radio chassis itself and the mounting sleeve. So what you do is you've got one of these little flat keys that works for most radios and you just slide it in there and it pops the things loose. And then you've got this little hook thing you can put in there and just pull it right on out so you can get a hold of it. So pull that out and undo your wiring. All right, the purpose of removing the radio is there's two screws underneath this climate control that you have to get to. And then there's one way in the back that you have to get to. And you actually have to have a special tool to get in there um, and this is it's just an angle driver and you can get these at Home Depot for like 20 30 bucks and it is an indispensable tool to have because otherwise you're pulling the dash out to get to these screws because there's no way to get in there um, but I'm going to show you with this tool there's a screw all the way in the back underneath and then there's a screw under here and a screw under here that you can feel with your fingers and get this tool on it and then undo those screws to get this thing loosened Alright, this radio mounting sleeve is going to have to come out so we can access our screws. And I've already started loosening up some of these little tabs, but what you got to do is get you a little screwdriver like this and pry these little tabs up so you can slide this sleeve out from the dash. Easier said than done, obviously. Alright, so I, this is the old climate control, and I just wanted to show you where the screw locations are. There's one right there and then one right there and then this one in the back is right in the center so if you're looking at it from underneath when it's in the dash you've got one right here and then one right there and that one in the back which is down it's pretty far back in there but it's not too tough to get to with that tool all right so I'm going to use my cordless drill with the right angle driver and this Phillips bit and the screw is literally like right there now I've already taken them out, but this just gives you the idea of where to look for the screws. And there's the one on the other side. And then the one in the back is back underneath this plastic. It's right there. So if you can see in there, I don't know if you can see it, but that's where the last screw is. And that allows you to get this All thing right, out. All right, the next step is to release this cable that connects to the uh, mechanism that controls the valves in the heater box. And that is this cable right here. And all you got to do is pull this loose and it just slides right off. Very easy. Okay, everything's loose. Now we can pull this out and the cable will just pop right through. And there it is. And reinstalling it is a little more complicated. You actually have to pull this off, this little trim, because there's this green plug right here that you can't reach once it's in. You have to reach it from the top and it's still a pain even from there. But um, I'm going to show you how to take this piece off next week. Okay, we've got to take this um, cluster bezel off now to get access to the top of this um, climate control. So the first thing you have to do is pop loose this little hazard switch. So you take a little screwdriver or some suitable tool and pop this out. And once that's out, there's a screw right there that holds that in. And the next thing you're going to do is there's two screws up here right above the cluster. 
So you use your handy dandy angle tool and get right up in here. There's a screw right there and then there's another screw right there. I've already taken them out obviously but it's much easier with this angle tool. Alright, once that's loose you can gently pull this loose here. There's clips all the way around. You just have to be really careful when you pull on it so you don't pull too hard and break it. But it should come loose pretty easily. There's a couple of clips underneath here and then you just pull it on out and then you've got your clock. You just release the plug on the clock and then this whole thing just comes right off. I'll just set that right here. And that gives you access to the top of the climate okay, control. Okay, I've got the new climate control in and I'm, I've got the, the cable routed down here where it was before. So we're just gonna clip this right back on. Ah, oh, man, I'm not doing very good here. It slides over that little pin and then it just clips right back in. All right, everything's done. Getting ready to put it all back together. And actually, while I had this thing apart, I went ahead and greased this uh, mechanism inside so it's a little easier to move. It's still kind of hard, but it works now and it's not going to bind up like it was before and break off. So all we have left to do is put this trim bezel back in, plug in our hazard lights and our clock, and run some screws in and put our radio back in. That is it, and it is done. Sometimes replacing climate controls in 1995 Honda Civics can be a little bit tedious and a little bit aggravating and can make me want to smash something. So what better way to smash something than with the war wagon? Oh, oh. Mm.